So we've got this funky bass played by Anthony Molinero. Shouts to Anthony. I feel like I could have picked something better to turn into a bass. But you know, why not? Let's just see what we get. So um, the first thing you want to do is control click or windows and click if you're doing it in a, on a PC. And you want to convert that melody to a MIDI track and your computer will do some thinking and it's thinking and um, hmm, you know probably gonna cut this part of the video out but if this is a rough edit you're waiting along with me you could probably skip ahead in YouTube since you should be able to see the progress bar in the mini display and voila here we are so now we have a new track with the, what the note should be. It usually gives you like some whack sounding synth on there. Maybe it sounds cool, but let's hear it. Uh, you know, it's all right. It's whatever. If you want to get something cooler sounding, um, although they do give you some controls here, you know, hey, we could mix with the, mess with those and see what we like. Could, uh, Put them whatever octave you want. They give you some reverb, that's cool. Make it wobble around with the vibrato. And, uh... That's actually kind of cool. I'm feeling like uh, some Boards of Canada vibes here. But for instance, if you didn't like what they give you here, what you could do is I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna solo this other one down here and uh, we could hit that little arrows thing and that puts us into swapping instrument mode and I'm gonna go hit, uh, well here, I want sounds because then it sorts by instrument type. We can ch pick bass here and pick something. And now, and oh no. So you might be like, hey, this is kind of cool, but it's not quite what I want out of it. Um, you might have to start messing with the settings. Like you could take it down an octave here. Yeah, and now we're getting kind of like uh, garage is what they would call it in the UK. And throw, let's throw some more effects on here so it sounds cool. Um, you know, my favorite is always the saturator. So. Nasty. Throw a little limiter after it. So it controls the... Not getting too plucky. If we want to clean out some of that high end crunch, uh, throw on a low pass. And and let's hit this thing with the comp glue compressor too before that limiter. gonna ride that level and uh, keep control of it so yeah now we've got a cool we've got two different cool bass sounds the third trick that I would suggest here is that you could select all these command G or Windows G to group them together and uh, now we can sort of mix them together uh, like they're just one bass sound and uh, perhaps throw some effects on the whole dang thing, maybe clean out that low, low, just to, you know, make it cut through the mix better. Some of those low sub frequencies are just mud. Um, and then, we, yeah, we could sort of mix these together. So I might take down the uh, original bass, my bass guitar, and uh, mix some of that in here. And 
that's pretty freaking cool. Or we could try our other flavor where we're mixing in uh, this our original me melody to MIDI synth. Or if you want to get super funky, fresh and funky with it, just have that sucker bounce back and forth. Or was to all together, maybe even crazier. Let's hear that. I need to back off that threshold just to cool I think that sounds pretty cool there's a lot of cool options in there and this has been my quick and rough tutorial Gonna hit the quick time player and say stop. Bye bye.